up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm necessary so today i have a video an eyelash extension tutorial video for you guys so if you haven't noticed i have completed one eye my right eye okay and now i have to do the left eye so i'm going to show you guys how to do it is fairly easy um i taught myself how to do this in college so i've been knowing how to do it for some years now even back then it did take me a couple times to to really get my own rhythm i guess you can say but that's with anything most most things that um are new for you you're not gonna get it immediately uh some people do some people don't but let me say this um number one if you are afraid of getting close to your eyes, if you are afraid of touching your eyes, if you, you know, anything like that, if you if you get really jumpy when things get really close to your eyes, then you probably would not want to do this because you have to get really close in, in your eye area in order to do your own eyelash extensions. But this is much cheaper than going to get your eyelashes done, especially during the pandemic. So yeah um it to me even if you shake somewhat you can still do it because i shake kind of naturally like my hands kind of tremble and what i do is when i'm doing my lashes i do it in the bathroom and i use my elbow to brace myself as i do my lashes right so it makes it easier and it makes my hands still okay now the lashes that i got you can order them from amazon the beauty supply store walmart wherever you prefer to get your individual lashes i got mine from my local beauty supply store and i got the 2x volume ultra black 3d knotted i envy eyelash extensions and then i got the classic 3d trio and i will show you the difference so this is the classic 3d trio okay so it has three um little what would you call these um three knots i guess you could say okay and then the other pair is the ultra 2x volume 3d knotted and it's just one knot right you see it okay that's the movie in the background if you hear it i know it sounds really loud it, it is loud so yeah the glue that i'm using is the duo individual lash adhesive in dark now they do have clear if you already have that on hand i guess you can use it i don't prefer to use the clear because i feel like it'll look like i have eye boogers in my eyes and yeah no that's not what i'm going for some i've seen some people use hair glue i use hair glue for my strip lashes but never for my individuals that's just my preference but do what you want to do what works best for you I'm not a professional. I'm just, yeah, I just know how to do my own eyelash extensions, okay? This side took me maybe 20 minutes to do, but I do want to make them fuller. So I've completed, like I've added extensions on the entire eyelash, but I'm going to add more on top just to give me a more dramatic effect. Now, you can add however many lashes wherever on your eyelash that you wish. It just, it's whatever you prefer. If you like nice, full, thick lashes, then you're going to, you know, add a lot of lashes. If you like very natural, short, then you will get short lashes because they come in lengths, like long, medium, and short. It's whatever you prefer, whatever you want to do, okay? Um, what else? You need tweezers, your eyelash glue, and eyelashes. That's it. Okay, so, now... What else? Is there anything else that I want to say before I get started? Oh, yeah. I do have another video. And actually, I would have posted that video before this one. So, it's cool. Check it out. It's uh, my best friend and I having like a girl chat. 
truth the dream type just fun it's really fun uh we talk about some of our past experiences and all that good stuff so yeah check it out and i hope you guys like this video i appreciate you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe so let's get into it you want to make sure that your individual lash all lashes have a curve right so you want to make sure that the curve is facing you you don't want the curve to be facing the opposite of your face so what i mean is okay the lash the curve is coming towards my face so this is how i would apply it to my lash line i will not apply it where the curve of the lash uh, where the curve of the lash is facing away from my face that's not what i want okay can you see that i don't want that i want the curve of the lash to be facing my face so on camera it looks backwards but i want that curve to face me um so as i go on you'll be able to tell or get what i'm saying better and i'm just gonna read the instructions off the back of the eyelash because i'm not always good at explaining so you're gonna use your lash applicator which is your tweezers you're gonna um lift the individual lash off the uh, tray be gentle then you're going to apply your adhesive your glue to the ball the end of the lash now let me let it get in focus make sure that you only apply a small drop okay because if it's if you apply too much it will weigh it down and make it fall down if you are new i would definitely suggest having a wet towel available because the first few times that i did it i definitely um burned my eye because it went past my water line and you don't want that so let me see if this glue is dry because this is from my previous. Okay. So I'm just going to add my glue. Oh yeah, it's getting kind of dry. And do you see that? Okay. So let's get started. And I'm looking at my mirror in my bathroom. Sometimes that happens because it's I'm gonna go and do the same thing again. Get my glue, apply a little bit. You know what, I might have to add some more glue, honey, because this is the glue from my other eye that I did and it's, just, it, yeah, it's dried out. And I don't have time to be waiting. I mean, to be fighting with it. Let me make sure I'm in the camera. Okay. There we go. Now 
Okay. And the more you do it, the more you get the hang of it. It's really just about taking your time, especially when it's your one of my lashes fell. Especially when it's one of your especially when it's you know you're new to it. Taking your time, making sure you have a wet towel because yeah, nine times out of ten, especially if you're using individual glue, eyelash glue, you're going to get it below your uh waterline or whatever you call it. I'm trying to make sure that I'm in the camera and still where I can see. Let's see if I can do it on camera. Oh, let me find out. how much I have. It's not that much. And sometimes that happens. See? Sometimes if you put too much glue, your lash will it'll start falling down. You just have to lift it up. y'all my eyes water a lot so It is Christmas Eve, and I'm so tired, y'all. I've been going nonstop all day today. Oh, yeah. Make sure your eyelashes are clean before. you um do your lashes okay you don't want to do this on dirty lashes we go. That's what I should have did a long time ago. Okay, that one needs more glue. It's not enough. And I can tell, I know this sounds so weird. Like, how do you know? to play with your 
wrist to like the angle at which you come down on it. So like on this side, I start off just applying it, but when I get closer to the inner part of my eye, my wrist goes down and I come at it from an, a downward angle, if that makes sense. But you will understand the more, the, as you do it, This really, if I didn't have to record, this would have took me, took me max like 40 minutes, 45 minutes max. But it wouldn't look like. If you sleep hard, like me, I sleep on my face. Um, after a while, a few will come out. If you wash your face pretty rough or like when you're in the shower, you get your whole, like you when you wash your face, you wash your eyelashes and stuff too. Yeah, no, it's it's going to definitely fall out quicker. So what I do is when I'm washing my face, I just wash around my lashes. See, and now I have to come at a different angle. So I'm resting my elbow on the mirror now. And me the hardest part is the inner eye like the closer I get to the inner part of my eye the harder it is for me All I want to do is watch a movie and chill. That's it. And try not to put the lash extension on your actual real lash, okay? And if you need to take them off, like, because they should fall out naturally. But if you're just ready to take them out, some people pull them off, um... I mean, I do that sometimes, but it's not good because it will pull out your lash. So just use like Vaseline and rub it.
rub it along and that will help. Um, that's my gel. Okay, so I'm done. Now I'm about to just add a few more in between just to make them more fuller for me, but that's really it. Close my eyes. Hope you guys like this video i hope it helps thank you for watching again you guys be safe know that you're necessary you're important you are loved i love you and um have a happy holidays merry christmas all that good stuff peace